whoever you take, whoever the they have fallen in love with, whoever they think is their guy for the future, does not have to play, and that in most cases is a is a good thing. It's Meat Sauce with the Parker Morning Show on 106.5 FM and 5:60 AM. What? That's right. <laughs> Here we are to get fitted for a putter, and of course, I'm wearing my best golf shoes, my red wing boots, which only an idiot would do, but hey, here we are. Lights, camera, action. Let's go. Now that's beautiful. Thank you. Good try. And we're off. Hey guys, I'm Paul Lambert, AKA Meat Sauce from the Power Trip Morning Show. Uh, my golf background is I used to play when I was a kid. I uh, got into it about 10, 12 years ago, and uh, I've loved every second of it. I play as much as I possibly can. I like watching it. I like playing it. I like collecting clubs, everything about golf. The reason I'm here today is I'm looking to get a new putter. I'm obsessed with the putter. I think it's the coolest club out of the whole bag. I think it's, the, as they like to call it, the money maker. Uh, a, B, I like collecting them, so I'm like fascinated with any kind of putter, as long as it's cool and shiny. I think that's the only reason. And uh, I would, if anybody I play with would tell you, it's probably the best club in my bag is my putter. My long game isn't very good, but my short game is okay. So if I can, you know, get one or two strokes off my short game with a brand new putter from Second Swing, it'll make the summer and spring even that much better. You're in that bunker on the right. You know your game. You gotta love a guy who knows his game. So that's my story. And now we're gonna get fit like a pro here at the Second Swing store in Minnetonka, the absolute best. This fit looks great. All right, let's go get them. Good morning, we're here at our uh, Minnetonka facility with uh, Paul Lambert, AKA Meat Sauce from K-Fan Radio. And we're gonna go through a putter fitting. I can't wait. I've been waiting all day to do this. Perfect. Well, you know, it, it's kind of interesting because so many players come here and get fit for all their golf clubs, but yet the club that they use for 40% of their shots, they never get fit for. Yeah. So I'm assuming you've never been fit for a putter before. I, I've never been fitted for a putter. And a couple people, when I told them I was getting fitted for a putter, were like, what? I didn't know that was a thing. So. <laughs> We're breaking grounds here, Larry. Well, they, you know, the understanding is most people don't understand in their golf bag, the three most important clubs that have the correct loft on are in order. Your putter, your driver, and your sand wedge. Because if I don't have the right loft on my putter, the ball doesn't roll correctly. I mean, you saw you hit one putt yeah. here already and you went, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to explain the information on the Quintech that we get, you know, and we use Quintech here because all the major manufacturers use it to design their putters. All the major instructors use it to teach their players on the PGA and the LPGA tours. So uh, we brought that technology into our fittings, which really helps people walk out the door with a better sense of what they one, what they need as a putter, and two, how they need to, how they need to stroke the golf ball. So we're going to find out some interesting things today. So big question for you right now is. How is your putting? Uh, it's decent. It's okay. not great, but it's uh, it's probably the best part of my game, and I don't know what that says about my game, but yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's decent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, any difference do you see on slow greens versus fast greens? Any issues there? No. Uh, no. The only issue I have is sometimes I hit it way too short. Like yep. the the depth perception, I would guess, is right. probably my worst part. But that's not something I can fix with a putter. But Sometimes, you know, just kind of reading the greens and then setting my shot up and then putting away. Sometimes I leave it too short. Well, I never go too far. It's always too short. Well, based on the first putt you saw, yeah. and that's a putter similar to what you have, the, yes. the Betnardi, similar to your gamer. Yes, maybe some of the reason you do leave it short is because of the way the ball's coming off the putter, and I'm going yeah. to explain that. So we're going to hit a couple putts, and then we're going to kind of go through this. Perfect. Okay, so we left that one slightly short. Yeah. Okay, so right there, I mean, if I'm looking at those numbers right off the bat, those are perfect numbers. Yeah. Okay, we look for a launch angle somewhere between one and two degrees. You're at 1.95. We look for at least 15 RPMs of overspin. We've got 73, and we look for a side spin at 10 or less. That's amazingly good. Wow. Let's see if you can do that. Let's see if All we right. can do that again. And let's try to hit it a little bit harder. All so, right. on, so on the speed thing, 
it, it, it just feels like you're, you don't feel like you just ever hit it hard enough sometimes. Yeah. Is, is that a fear of three putting? Is that? Yeah, it's a fear of going either going way to, too long. Too yeah, far. embarrassing myself even more than I already have getting to the green. That's what I don't want okay. to continue to do. The good news, though, is if you go too far. So here's the problem. If I leave that putt short, say if I leave a 20 foot or two or three feet short, I don't know what's going to happen the next two or three feet to the hole. But if I hit it two or three feet past, I can watch it go past the hole and I get an idea on the putt coming back. Okay, so, you know, along with working here, I assistant coach for Minnesota. And one of the things that we've done over the last two years is get the players to increase their speed because you want to see what happens past the hole. Plus, if you never get it to hole, it's never got a chance to go in. Yeah. So maybe, you know, maybe this summer, your mindset should change a little bit, trying to be a little more aggressive. Okay, so now we hit one great putt. Yep. And unfortunately, we hit one really bad yeah, putt. Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here so here's what happened now. So now we launched it too high. Mm -hmm. So you had a tendency. So what happens is you kind of is is your stroke goes, and especially with someone who doesn't like to hit it too hard, you kind of throw the putter head at the ball. Okay. So we increased the we increased the launch from around two to almost four now. Instead of having that seventy three RPMs of overspin, we got nine RPMs of backspin, and but we still have very little side spin. So that's the good news. The good news is you deliver it very squarely to the hole. Oh. Okay. The problem is we need to we need to figure out how we can keep those good numbers there instead of the bad numbers. So we're going to hit another putt. And we're going to talk about that. So now on, now on style of putters, do you like the way that one looks? Do you like, I mean, yeah. are you looking for something, are you looking for something different? I, I'm a big fan of putter with like, with this, A, because I'll be honest with you, I like being able to pick the ball up because I got, <laughs> my back always hurts. That's, or that, that. That's, yes. that's this, Correct, right? yes. Yeah. I like because normally, as you see, I'll putt, I'll get to about here, and somebody will go good, and I'll just That's go. That's good, and you'll just, you'll just catch it, you'll just... walk back, I can grab my <laughs> beverage and move on. If I got something without that, then it's yeah. this, and yeah, I'm then scanning it's over here. Yeah, then, then it's bending yeah. over. Then I want to play like two holes, and then I want to go home. So yeah. this, you know, this keeps me on the golf course longer. But yeah. I get it. I, get I just it. also like the way that it, as weird as this is, I like the way it looks when I look down at it. Right. I don't know. I just think it's a, it's right. a, yeah. Well, and again, you know, sometimes people come in here, we're not necessarily in here to change your putter style, but yeah. let's make sure we get the right, the right loft and lie and length for you. So go ahead and roll me another one. Okay. So a little bit better. So we yeah. really hit three different putts. Unfortunately, yeah. that looked like three different people. Correct. Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> me. Yeah, sounds like something I would do. Yeah. So, you know, that's the that's where we would look at it. Now, I'm going to look at it and say, hey, I'm going to check the loft on that putter. We're going to probably take a little bit of loft because you do have a little tendency to want to thry, throw the putter head. And what I mean by throwing the putter head is the putter head gets a little bit ahead of your hands. Okay. Best players in the world, you know, the Jordan Speeths of the world, the Tiger Woods of the world, their hands lead the putter head through impact, okay? That's where they get a consistency. That's what they're constantly working on. So that's one thing we'll talk about in your putting stroke after I bend the loft, is you kind of leading it a little bit better yeah. with your hands, okay? So let me have that. I'm gonna go take a little loft off this. So now I've taken a degree of loft off the putter. The standard is four, now it's three. Let's see what let's see what we do with it. And again, as you as you make a stroke, feel like your hands are gonna lead that putter head through. All right. A little was, push. Yeah, a little push. But again, we pushed it, but now that the putter's got less loft on it, and you did a better job with your hands, we're back to where we are. We're back to Perfect launch, yeah. good overspin, good side spin. 
Wow. Significantly better. Man, you're like a genius. Well, not necessarily. I mean, not necessarily. Just been doing this a long time. Okay, so here's what I want you to do this time. The little pushes that you make come from your head trying to watch that ball too quickly. Yeah. Okay, so I've just put that golf ball on top of a silver dot. I want you staring at the silver dot, and we're going to listen for the ball to go in the hole. We're not going to watch it go in the All hole. All right. Okay, because what most people do is they look too fast, and what happens is if my head moves, my shoulder moves. My yeah. shoulder moves, my arm moves. What does the putter face do? Putter face goes that way. Yeah. Okay. So let's keep our head down a little bit longer, see what we get. Okay, we left that just a fraction short, but again, amazingly good number. Yeah. Now our launch gets consistent because you kept your head down longer. Less loft on the putter helps that. We have a tremendous amount of overspin. We have less than we have less than 10 on the side spin. It's perfect. Thank you. It's easy. Yeah, very it's easy, easy when you explain it that way. Well, let's talk about let's talk about some things to help you then. How about okay. that? Sure. Yeah. You know, because you're going to be out there and you're going to have your favorite beverage and you're going to be having fun with your buddies. And, yeah. You know how how do I putt better and not really, you know, act like I'm trying to play the PGA Tour? Correct. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. One of them, especially inside eight feet, let's listen for the ball to go in the hole. Okay, you got to give yourself that extra fraction of a second. One of the one of the things too that if you ever get a chance to practice putting, here's a great drill for you. So you set up you set up to hit this again. And you're gonna tell me when you're ready to hit. Ready, ready to go? Yeah. Close your eyes and hit it. Knocked it right in the center of the hole. Look at us. Who would have ever thought? Not with, okay, so it launches 0 0.07 over. Big deal. We have plenty of overspin. We have no side spin. Yeah. So your issue is head movement. Yeah, I have a okay. huge one. So yeah. I, I can't help that. Yeah. <laughs> well, now it's even more yeah. important to yeah. keep it still. Yeah. Because, see, I watch you when you hit your first few putts, I watched your putting stroke, but I watched the bill of your cap. Yeah. And the bill of your cap went, this way, this way. Okay. So if you can start practicing where if you get a chance, you know, even before you start your round, hit three or four footers, a nice little flat putt with your eyes closed just to feel your hands. Yeah. Feel your hands in that putter head, giving it a better connection. People that putt poorly, and I'll guarantee, especially you where you said you leave a lot of putt shorts, you're very visual. You're yeah. a very visual putter. Okay. Some of the best putters in the world, you watch their heads, their heads don't move. Some do, some don't. But they make solid contact. The problem that you've been struggling with is not really the design of the putter. Putter you've had has had too much loft on it, and your heads move too much. Okay? That's also going to help you make a better strike. Because if, if my head moves, and my head moves and that putter comes up, now I strike it on the bottom in the toe of the putter, and it's never going to get to the hole. Yeah. So yeah. So some of the some of the not getting to the hole has been you, but some of it's been the loft of the putter that's hurt you. Yeah, that's it's incredible. A, it's simple. Yeah, simple. But when you say it like that, it's simple. Well, because we have numbers to back it up. Yeah. You know, if I just stood there without any numbers, how do we get how do we get any better? Right. Yeah. yeah. You need to know what you're doing. You could stand there all day long, and I could tell you, you know, if I was giving you a lesson without any of this information, you know, hit it hard, hit yeah. it hard, hit it hard, because we can't see ball roll. Yeah. And that's why here at Second Swing, in all our Second Swing stores, we have Quintech to help people get fit for putters and help them putt better. It's incredible. Yeah. I never, like, you know, back 20 years ago when you'd get fitted for a putter, you just, even if you didn't even do that, hey, how does it feel? Great. Right. Putt a few. Hey, I made right. it. Well, I'll take this one. Yeah. Well, you know, it's great. What I like is we get a lot of people that will come here and get fit by me for a putter. But they'll come in the store beforehand, and they'll putt around a little bit, 
and they'll grab maybe two or three models that they like, the way they look and the way they feel, and they're like, hey, which one of these is gonna be the best for me? So yeah. there's nothing wrong, because you still, you want feel, you want, yeah. like you said earlier, you love the look. I love the look, You yeah. love the look, it's very it's very functional for you. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> to pick up To pick up the it's golf ball, which it. is yeah. fine, which yeah. we want function. But on the other, so you, you have to like the way it looks. You know, I, I, I've done, you know, there's been some TikToks and some YouTubes where I talk about, you know, picking a golf club is like buying a car. Yeah. I mean, if you never like the color of your car, yeah. if you never like the look of the putter. Yeah, it's beautiful. You're never, yeah, yeah, you're never going to have any confidence in it. Correct, yeah. So confidence is number one. Two, you got to get fit into the right loft and the right putter. And then three, that's your side. You got to start keeping your head down. Yes. Longer. So let's let's roll one more and see what we get. Perfect. So I, I didn't I didn't know if they told you, but if you do play for money, I get twenty percent of your winnings. Man, I never I get twenty percent of your winnings in twenty twenty in twenty twenty three because of this. So there's that little there's that little clause at the I, bottom of the fitting. I never play for money. <laughs> I never do. I just I yeah I have buddies that are always like. What are we playing for? I'm like, you three, I have no interest. I just, yeah. I'm playing for fun. I'd rather, correct. Which I'd rather, is a, yeah. Absolutely great. I mean, I'd rather gamble on a four people I've never seen play than rather bet on gamble. Bet, on, yeah. bet on yourself? Yeah, I mean, I'll gamble on what's the first beer poured at a bar, <laughs> but I'm not gambling on myself playing golf. So I love what your head did there. And once again, look at this. Perfection. So now, yeah. perfect launch, perfect overspin, zero side spin. Zero side spin. That's incredible. I think. It is. That's it's amazing. Crazy. Yeah. It's amazing. I would have never known any of this information without any of this. You and that. That's incredible. So, uh, any questions? No. This is going to change my game, though. I mean that. Okay. I never even thought, all those things you said, I never even thought of. None of it. I mean, keeping my head still is something I've never been able to do because right. it, it's like something out of the movie Beetlejuice because it's so big. But I've just never thought of any of that. Right. Because the second you get to here and you look, right. it's all you just well, you're pulling. Yeah. Here, set up like that. The second you look, what happens is this goes out. Yeah. And then if you don't make if if you're a fraction too quick with that, yeah, that putter face opens up. Yeah. And if you open up the putter face. A half a degree at eight feet, we're missing. Yeah, badly, okay? yeah. Well, then you do that a couple times, and then what do you start doing? Then you start doing this. Yeah. Then your right arm gets active because, well, I've missed three putts to the right. I'm not yeah. going to miss one to the right again. Yeah. What do you do? Then you, you give overcompensate, it. Then you yeah. overcompensate. And then by the eighth hole, you're like, you know yeah. what? I need some more beers because Correct. I'm never going to make a putt this yeah. afternoon. Correct. So we're going to work on keeping our head down longer. Anything, I would say, six feet and in, we're going to listen for it to go in. We're not going to watch it. And we're just going to try to amp up our speed a little bit. But the loft of the putter is going to help that, too. The ball is going to roll out so much better for you now. Yeah. It hasn't been rolling out. And that's where, you know, you've, you've kind of been coming in this mode of just being a little tentative striking the putt. Incredible. That's all great, right. man. I really appreciate it. I never thought of any of that. It's yeah. great. So what we found out is kind of a combination of three things. Okay, one, the Queen Bee 11 putter, which you currently use, yep. is really good for you. But you're going to come back in with yours because this is one we had here. You're going to bring in yours and you're going to make sure that I make this three degrees aloft for yeah. you. Okay? Perfect. Yeah. Instead of the standard four because that helps us with our ball roll numbers. Okay. The next thing is, you know you need to keep your head down, right? Yep, absolutely. You know yeah. you have to feel like it'll be better. It's going to help your speed. It's going to help your roll. As we see, you do a, you're a pretty good putting stroke yeah. for somebody who doesn't think they had a pretty I good putting that. stroke. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. So from that standpoint, then for you, it's just a little bit of practice. I'm working on your speed, trying to be a little bit more aggressive with the putter. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any questions? No, I think you answered all of them. Okay, perfect. Well, it was an absolute pleasure having Thank you, you here today. Thank you, sir. And, and again, now here's the thing. Now we take it out to the golf course. Now the golf season starts. 
eventually. I think yeah. it'll stop snowing someday. Hopefully, yeah. You know, so after you get out, after you bring your putter in, yeah. I'll bend it for you. You play a few rounds of golf. You come back in and you let me know how it's going out on the golf course. Because again, you know, here's a nice flat surface. Sure. You've got breaking putts and everything. But what you're going to find is your ball is going to roll so much truer now than it did when we started this session. Brilliant. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you, and sir. We'll, we'll yeah. see you and, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, make sure that, we'll make sure that you make more putts this, this summer and enjoy the game more. Thank you, sir. Perfect. That's it.